What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Scorpio. It's a local card reading. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Start with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, free general Oracle card reading. It's meant for mid-April spirit messages you have signed uh, Scorpio. It's meant for mid-April of 2022, but there's millions of billions of people in the world and tons of Scorpios. So for some of you guys, it could resonate starting now for some mid-April, for some past mid-April. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So, you know, one message may resonate, two plus may resonate, or zero may resonate. You have to plug it into your own individual situation, however it applies in your own life, if it does. Spirit messages you have for signs for you. Um, so, yeah, just saying, just saying. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to say that real quick. We're at 12,090 subscribers right now. So, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I, I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. It helps support a single mama and two kids income stream. So, I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Okay. Hard to get one more. We have Kane. Pay attention to your health and love. Wow. Okay. And Apple, temptation will test you. Um, I heard, I did Leo's um, Oracle card reading first. I felt guided to do so. So then in Leo's Oracle card reading, I heard do Scorpio's next. So um, that's why I'm doing Scorpio's next, just to let you guys know, because uh, I was told by spirit to do so. And I, I listen. <laughs> so just saying. <laughs> um, so here we are. Um, so we have Cain, pay attention to your health, love, and temptation will test you. Um, let me get some um, animal spirit, and then we'll get rolling. I haven't received any channel messages yet, but uh, if I do, of course, I will let you know. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, Scorps, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos under social media and word of mouth, I very much appreciate it. Spirit messages you have. Okay. Skunk spirit, know your worth. And that would go good with the temptation will test you. And sandpiper spirit, be playful. Oh, those are good ones. All right, let's pull a couple of these and then we'll get started. Um, you might be a Scorpio or you might be a cross watcher. I know I have a, you know, people like to cross walk that cross watch the signs but of course you know i would suggest checking out your sun and rising venus or them and the jupiter charts if you are interested spirit messages you have for sign of scorpio all right refuge stability reversed on the bottom of the deck spirit messages you have for sign of scorpio Way too many. Maybe you're dealing with somebody with some kind of addictions, or you have addictions, or you're emotional about a situation, or somebody you're connected to is. Spirit messages you have sign. Okay. Healing. Okay. Sanctuary reversed on the bottom of the deck. A Scorpio educator is about to be tempted by a minor. It will not be a good idea. You will get caught. Know this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Holy sh. Oh my God. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Okay. I heard a Scorpio educator. So. <laughs> Oh, woo! Way to start it off, Scorps. 
a Scorpio educator. So you are an educator, if this resonates for you. An educator is some shape, form, or fashion. I feel you work in the edu in the education um, arena, either in a school or a secondary program, or maybe uh, a caught well. I'm, it could be a college. I heard you'll be, um, you're ba it sounds like you're sexually interested in a minor. I was going to say college or technical school, but sometimes those places have minor energy in them, uh, people below 18. So you could be in a college, a technical institute, uh, elementary school, middle school, high school, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard you're about to be tempted by a minor. Um, it would not be a good idea. You're, you will get caught. Uh, whoever you are, I mean, you're dealing, you're a Scorpio educator. Um, I feel you're either a teacher or an administrator or a coach or something of that nature. Um, however that applies. Um, you could be a music teacher, art teacher. Um, you could uh, be ancillary staff. Um, but I feel you work in a school or a technical school or a community college or an Ivy League or four year or something of that nature, but you are being tempted, tempted sexually, it sounds like, by a minor. Um, I heard it would not be a good uh, idea. You will be caught. And you have temptation will test you with the spiritual message. And the pay attention to your health. I'm thinking mental health in this situation because any adult that in their right mind would not want to mess with a minor. Because when your ass gets caught, you will be plastered all over the news very publicly. And you should be, whoever you are and how this applies. And I mean, I'm just being pro fro with you. You And you should be. If you do choose to go down this path, whoever this Scorpio educator this is for, you haven't went down the path yet. But it sounds like you're about to be tempted or you already have been tempted by a minor. And I think sexually here. Um, now, whether they're intentionally tempting you or you just think they look good. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else's. But if you go down this path, this minor, I heard you will be caught. For whoever that's for, you are an adult Scorpio that works in the education sector in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates. Number 16 or four could be a very significant number in one's life. 16 or four, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 16 or four. Also 54 and 51. It could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number, 5451. Skunk spirit, know your worth. And you have the know your worth card with the spiritual download and the temptation will test you. Messing with minors, adult Scorpio that works in the education field, masculine or feminine, it's not a good idea. Period. Mentally. Everybody knows this. Know your worth. Oh my God. For some, you could be dealing with an earth sign and an air sign because you have earth sign, air sign energy. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Possibly. Know your worth. A particular earth sign, minor, is about to catch a very serious situation in a public space soon. They are about to tell someone else. This Scorpio is involved. They are about to tell someone else. is about to create other series of chain of events. This earth sign, minor, will get high honor for this. Know this. You should have never been involved in this. Oh my God, what is going on? And I'm serious about this. What the hell is going on? And I, something, 
something is going on, I think at a school or a community college or a technical college or something, and it's involving minors. Like, I, some, one of you guys is about to be tempted by a minor sexually. I feel for some other Scorpios, you might be sexually engaging with a minor or knowing somebody is sexually engaging with a minor. And I am serious as a heart attack about this. I'm serious. This is scary. This is scary. I heard, um, okay, so whoever, whatever Scorpios this resonates with, I heard a public space. So it doesn't have to be a school or the educator Scorpio that's sexually tempted by a minor or not. It's some kind of public space energy. So you plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do. But it's some kind of public space energy where it sounds like a lot of people and there's some kind of situation that sounds like that's about to happen in the universe. It hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. Somebody's about to get caught in this public space doing something they're not supposed to do. Now, I didn't hear specifically what it is, but you are involved in it, Scorpio, if this resonates for you. You are involved in it. So it sounds like you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing either. But it, I heard an earth sign minor is about to catch, it sounds like walk in or catch it, call, walk in or catch these people doing something they're not supposed to do. I heard the earth sign minor is going to tell somebody else outside this situation um, about it. And the earth sign minor is going to get high honor. But it sounds like if this resonates for you, Scorpio, you were involved in this. You were involved in this public setting. You were involved in this, whatever the hell it is, where it sounds like it involves several people. It, to me, I feel it could be minor sexual exploitation of a minor or sexual abuse of a minor or having sex with a minor or it could be drugs or some, it's something very significant and wrong, whatever the hell it is. Um, so much so this earth sign minor feels the need to go tell somebody else and it's going to create a series of chain of events that's going to break up this, whatever the hell this is, or put a stop to it, but somehow you're involved with it. And the earth sign minor is going to get high honor, and they should, whatever it is. I didn't hear specifically what it is. But um, minor is anybody under 18 for anybody doesn't know. So know your worth. Uh, Scorpio is about to get caught in something. It sounds like illegal and criminal. And um, and having sex with a minor is illegal and criminal for anybody doesn't know that. Um, I'm not saying it is this situation, but there is a Scorpio adult considering, I think, in having sex with a minor. And I think they work in a school or college or a technical institution or something of that nature. And I'm serious about that. So know your worth. Um, you're about to get, somebody, some Scorpio is about to get caught up in something public and community-wise, criminal, illegal, and our sign minor is about to report it to somebody that's going to Get some help in there. Our sign minor is going to get high honor. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Scorpio masculine, 40 and above, is about to be tempted sexually by a younger feminine energy adult. She's doing this for very strategic reasons. Know this. She wants to come up. Ooh. Oh, well, this one isn't so bad. Okay, so thank God. So a particular Scorpio masculine, you're 40 and above. If this resonates for you. You're 40 and above. And it's, I heard it's a younger adult femme energy. So she's an adult. She's not a minor. So you're both legal. Um, I heard she's about to um, basically hit on you. She's about to hit on you. Um, but I heard she's doing it for strategic, for strategic reasons. So she's doing it, I heard, for a come up, for a come up. So you are either highly affluent in your community or world, or you are a position of authority, or there's some reason she's wanting to hit on you. And it's not because she truly cares about you. It's because she likes clout and fame and attention, like attention-seeking behavior, or she wants to get up the rung and the ladder the easy way. And she's trying to do it for you. Um, I think she wants you to think she's romantically interested in you. I think she might want to date you maybe for a temporary um, time. 
so she can get her come up. And then when she gets her come up, cut you off because it doesn't sound like she truly cares about you. So um, you are 40 or above Scorpio masculine, and it's an adult, younger adult fem energy um, that's about to hit on you. So basically know your worth. Um, know that you are worth way more than somebody's come up, basically, is what I'm feeling on this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Same type of spirit. Be playful. Oh, hold on. Cocaine use very heavy for one particular Scorpio. Very, very, very heavy. Someone's been going through withdrawals because they're trying not to do it at work. Someone's about to pick up on the fact a, Scorp a Scorpio does, does do cocaine. Someone at work. Oh, my Lord. So you, oh, my God. You plug it in, help resonate. So we have a Scorpio in the universe that is addicted to cocaine addicted to coke um so you know whatever what's it called snorting it up geeking it up whatever we uh, they do it through their nostrils but i think there's other ways you can do it too i don't know i've never done freaking cocaine but i when i worked at the jail i a lot of snorters came in so i know you can do it through your nose there might be other ways too i think some uh, some people mix it in 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 the spoon and heat it up and shoot it up their veins um i think i remember that too when i worked there but you plug it in how it resonates, but however that resonates, um, one of you guys is addicted to heavy, heavily addicted to coke, and it sounds like you used to do it at work, but you're not doing it anymore for some kind of reason. Some reason you're not doing it at work anymore. Something has maybe spooked you or has alerted you to the fact that you can't be doing it at work. I heard, but I heard you're about to go through, uh, you've been going through withdrawals, but somebody in your workplace is about to pick up the fact that you do do cocaine. I wonder if your nose, is, if you're about to start having those crazy, um, like, floodgate open nosebleeds that occurs with cocaine users. Um, I Trust me, I had to treat a lot of those when I worked at the jail. Um, they snorted up their passages so much, it breaks the cap capillaries up in their nasal passages. And so when they have a it could be a normal little look nosebleed to someone that doesn't do coke, but someone that does, it's like a sieve falling through because there's no nothing up there to protect it because they've snorted it all up and broke it all the hell up to pieces. So I wonder if it's one of those floodgate open nosebleeds. Maybe it's going to occur at work or maybe you left some coke at work. I mean, I don't know, but somehow somebody at work is about to pick up on the fact that you do do cocaine. Uh, or maybe you're about to get a random drug test. How that resonates. So know your worth. Know you're much worth much more than some cocaine. Um, just saying, just saying. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. A particular Scorpio is about to start feeling more comfortable to joke around with a particular feminine energy. It's about to become, it's about to really help the relationship in a huge way. Just make sure you're, you choose wisely. Because there's one that can take a joke and one that cannot. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Lord. So if this resonates for you, um, you're Scorpio. And um, it sounds like you want to joke around and hee-haw around with a femme energy. Now, you can be masculine or feminine, but whoever you're pulling in here, it's a femme energy. Um. It sounds like you've been contemplating this for a while, maybe to test the waters with this fem energy as far as joking around. I don't think it's necessarily horse playing. It's just, you know, playful banner is what I'm presuming here. Um, but there's two fem energies here. There's two here. There's one that really can take a joke and one that cannot. I heard you need to choose wisely. So whoever this particular message resonates with, Scorpio, whoever this resonates with, there's at least two femme energies in your life you've been contemplating joking around with. I heard one really can take a joke and one cannot. Uh, and you basically need to choose wisely because um, 
know your worth, choose wisely, because um, especially if it's like in a workplace situation, you don't want to, and it's, if it's, I don't know if it's a nasty, raunchy joke or just a joke in general, but people get offended so easily is what I'm trying to say. So just be careful um, because it sounds like for whoever this is for, whether it's workplace related or not, people get offended is what I'm trying to say. It could be at a ball team. It could be at a ball, ball function uh, or a community function. It could be um, anywhere. It could be anywhere. But there is somebody that really can take a joke and somebody that really can't. So you basically need to choose wisely. The plea, be playful in this situation is, I think, in being able to use your best intuition and figuring out who really can take a joke and who really can't. Because, you know, you don't want to, especially like if you're a masculine, because I heard it's two fins. If you're masculine, you don't want to get be accused of sexual harassment. Um, I'm not saying it's a raunchy joke, but you don't want to be accused of, um like discrimination or um sexual harassment or something like that um i'm not saying it was a raunchy joke i didn't hear it was but that's what i'm feeling here um and i don't blame you i mean that's the truth people get offended so easily these days just so easily you have to really really watch what you say to people um and because i mean like you've got somebody in here wanting a come up I think wanting to temporarily date you just for clout and fame and notoriety for a come up. And then you've got somebody in here that might get offended over a joke. I mean, it's to that extreme. And then a Scorpio adult that is sexually interested in a minor, which is disgusting. So you plug it in how it resonates. Just saying. Kane, pay attention to your health. A significant hepatitis C confirmation soon, not a Scorpio. And a significant HIV, HIV positive result, a Scorpio soon. Oh, Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh. So a significant hep C positive result soon, not a Scorpio. So somebody in the universe, it sounds like has hep C, hepatitis C for anybody who doesn't know. It's that hep C is not anything to be messing around with. It just really isn't. Um, it's not. I used to, um, when I worked at the jail, there was a lot of, especially the drug users, IV drug users would come in hep C positive. And that's just the truth. Um, because you can get it from needle sharing, unclean needle sharing, or sexual intercourse, um, hep C. And that's just the truth. So, um, you know, you plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of significant hep C um, diagnosis, it sounds like, confirmation, like lab work results um, in diagnosis and confirmation, not a Scorpio soon. So however this plugs, plugs in your life, Scorpio, it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. Um, Hep C is really, really dangerous. It causes severe liver issues, health issues. I mean, you plug it in, how it resonates, but it, it doesn't sound like it's you with somebody you're connected to. It sounds like you're about to find out they have Hep C, basically. And then a significant um, HIV positive result soon, a Scorpio. So some, one Scorpio in the world is about to find out they have um, HIV, they're HIV positive. I'm presuming through lab work, diagnosis, et cetera, et cetera. So, oh, Lord. An air sign is about to be kicked off a team soon. It is about to shock the hell out of you. One of them, severe health issues and concerns. One of them, they're about to be on probation with their career. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap. So air sign energy strong in here. If this resonates for you, it's not you. It's an air sign you're connected to. So this is the air sign card in here with the animal spirit card. So I'm going to put it like this. So some kind of air sign energy. It's at least two scenario, scenarios in the universe. It's some kind of ball team energy. Um, there's a million different types of ball teams in the universe. So 
You have to plug this ball team in, however it resonates and applies in your own life, Scorpio. But it's an air sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thome, and Hater, Jupiter charts. But I heard they're about to get kicked off a ball team soon. Um, one of them, I heard it's health related. Uh, they're about to have serious health related issues. Um, I didn't hear specifically what kind of health related issues they are. Um, it could be a hep, hep C for some of them. For some, it could be HIV, um, of course, but the HIV was a Scorpio, but it could be hep C or if, if something else. However, that resonates, I guess I should say. Um, for this air sign, uh, I heard severe health issues. So I think it's about to, it's about to come hard and strong. Uh, for some of them, I feel they've already had it. They've already had these health issues and it's about to just hit them like a ton of bricks. Um, so that's one of them, one of the air signs. But another air sign, I heard they're about to get a kid off this fall team because they're about to be put on probation um, with their career. So I guess with their career, it's about to put them on probation so they cannot participate participate in being a part of this ball team. Now, I don't, the, the air sign could be a ball player, I'm feeling, or they could be a coach or ancillary staff of the ball team. That's how I feel it can go. They either can be a coach of this ball team, a player of this ball team, or ancillary staff of the ball team. But some kind of air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, one of them, severe health issues. It's about to basically force them off the team. One of them, they're about to get put on probation, which is about to affect their career. And this um, sounds like the um, sports um, ball team side of it. Um, they're about to get taken off the extracurricular, it sounds like, because they're about to be um put on some kind of probation in their career so um you plug it in how it resonates pay attention to your health with this air sign basically i'm sure it's going to make the air signs health go down when they get publicly i mean because it sounds like they're going to be forced off the ball team so i'm sure everybody's going to know and they're probably going to know why they're being forced off this ball team for the uh, probation part so and i'm sure the health wise part too Apple temptation will test you. We already got the spirit message about the Scorpio adult being sexually interested in a minor, which I think is extremely disgusting. This person needs some help. And I, I, I'm not being funny. I'm being serious. Honestly, you know how they have Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous? Honestly, I would love to create a Sex Addictions Anonymous. And I'm serious. To help the people with sex addictions. Um, I feel we need this in the universe. And I'm serious. I, I truly... Truly feel we do. I think we need a Sex Addictions Anonymous for the sex addicts out there. We have a Gamblers, we have the Gambler Hotline. We have um, the Crisis Center Hotline for mental health. We have um, um, the uh, Narcotics Anonymous and the Alcoholics Anonymous. We need a Sex Addiction Anonymous for these creepy um, pedos, basically. And I'm serious about that. And if you get offended that I call you a pedo, I'm sorry about that, but sorry, not sorry, because you are a pedo. You shouldn't, I mean, you need to go find a form, a healthy copacetic relationship with an adult and stay away from damn kids. And I'm serious. I feel somebody needs to hear that. A Scorpio mother is sexually attracted to her son. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh Lord. I, oh my God. You, oh. I, what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Serious mental health issues here. Someone in public is about to find, is about to pick up on this soon. And they're about to call call someone very important. It's going to create negative series of chain of events for these two. They're both adults. Oh my God! Whoa! I I just don't know what to say about this one. I just really uh, know your worth, Scorpio mother. Know your worth. Um, and I'm serious about that. Know your worth. What else can I say about that? That is disgusting. Um, I'm sorry, not sorry. Somebody needs to hear this. You, hopefully you can break free. Maybe we need an addiction, um, support group for that. I mean, Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. A Scorpio mother I heard is sexually attracted 
to her son. To her son. It sounds like her own blood son. I heard they're both adults. So thank God it's not pedophile energy. But they're both adults. The son and the mother. I heard um, something is about to happen in public soon where somebody else is about to pick up on this fact that she sexually attracted him. Maybe she touches him inappropriately. Maybe they both are into it. And some kind of PDA is publicly seen between this mother, Scorpio mother, and this adult son. I heard this other person is going to call somebody important. It's going to create negative series of chain events for the Scorpio mother and the adult son. So you plug it in how it resonates. That, in, this, in this instance, it is temptation of the mother, adult mother, to the adult son. That is, I just don't know what else to say about that. That's gross. And honestly, um, it really goes with this, but I feel weird and sick and twisted even putting that together because it should never be together like that. And I'm just serious about that. Um, I'm serious. A uh, particular Pisces is about to be pissed, 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 pissed at a Scorpio. Piss. Because negative series of chain of events are about to be created. And it's about to pull this Pisces in. It's about to turn into a huge thing. Okay, I heard a particular um, Pisces is about to be very pissed at a Scorpio because somehow, I think it's the Scorpio mother that has some kind of fetish for their adult son. And I'm serious about that um, in public. And it's going to alert somebody else. And they're going to, I think they might call um, the uh, like Department of Human Resources energy, which, you know, like, because, you know, Department of Human Resources is, it's, it covers child protective services and adult protective services, period. Uh, whatever Department of Human Resources that is in your area. But um, I think they might call like a public human resources, whatever it is in their county or state or area or what have you, because that's, that's gross. That, oh, um, but I heard a Pisces is about to get brought into this situation. I think it's this mother Od Odip Oedipus complex. Is it called Oedipus complex? I think it is. Um, Oedipus complex where it's mother and son complex where it just it's like an obsession. I think it's called the Oedipus complex. I'm going to look it up. Um, but anyways, um, so somebody's about to call, it's going to create negative series chain events, but somehow Pisces is about to get brought into this. Um, I heard they're about to be pissed at Scorpio. I think the Scorpio mother that's got this Oedipus complex on this adult masculine child, her child. Oedipus complex, the complex of emotions aroused in a young child, typically around the age of four, by an unconscious sexual desire for a parent of the opposite sex and wish to exclude the parent of the same sex. It's like the Oedipus complex in this situation, except reversed. Um, because in the Oedipus complex is actually a child sexually um, attracted to, uh, a young child sexually attracted to an adult. But in this situation, I don't know what you would call this. Um, it's like some reverse Oedipus complex is what I'm deeming this as. Because, I, oh, you plug it in how it resonates. Love. By the way, that person could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femin, and Henry Jupiter charts. So one that's about to get drug into this mess, by the way. Um, but they're about to be pissed. They're about to be pissed. They're about to be drug into it in this reverse Oedipus complex is what I'm feeling here. Love. A particular Scorpio, you have been single a long time. You're very grounded, stable, and dependable and reliable. You have been waiting for a true partner. Through many series of shame events, you're about to really bond with someone very much like you. You know intuitively in your heart this person is very much like you and you're right. Wow, that's a great one. Dear God, I'm glad we got out of the reverse Oedipus complex crap. I mean, I don't know what else to call that. That's what I'm calling it because I don't know what else to call it. Um... This is a great one. So you are a, it's, you're a water sign, yes, a water, um, water sign, Scorpio. But you take on like earth sign energy, stable, grounded, reliable, dependable. I heard you've been single a long time, so obviously you're independent. You pay your own bills. You do your own thing. I don't think you go around um, 
with reverse Oedipus complexes or try to hit on minors or anything like that. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, I think you know your worth, whoever you are. You definitely already know your worth. You're highly intuitive, I heard. And um, you know this other person you're very interested in is a lot like you. So it doesn't matter what sign they are. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north of Midian, Jupiter. Just like you're a water sign, you take on the earth sign energy. Stable, grounded, dependable, reliable. Whoever this other sign is, I think they take on the earth sign energy too. Stable, grounded, dependable, reliable too, no matter what sign they are. Uh, but you're highly intuitive and you know this. Now, you might, I mean, hell, you might make more money than them or you might not. It's not about money in this situation. It's about similar qualities in a person is what I'm saying. It's about similar qualities. And I think you know this person is, has similar qualities in, um, internally inside them, just like you is what I'm trying to say. And I think they might have been, they might be single a while, have been a single a while, just like you too. I heard you've been waiting on someone just, um, not just like you, but like you. Um, for some of you guys, I feel you could have been waiting a long while, like years. And I'm serious about that because you know your work. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard through many series of chain events, there's about to be a bond be, uh, to be formed here. So I think in this aspect, it's not like love bombing or, um, or lust. I mean, we pulled the love card, just saying. Um, and there is a sexual one in here, but we didn't pull that one. We pulled love. But I think this is over time love. I think a bond is about to be formed. Something is about to happen in the universe. And a bond is about to be formed that's going to create the love down the line. I don't think it's going to be like love bombing um, or love at first sight or whoever you are. You're very grounded, reasonable, dependable. Um, you see things through for what they really are is what I'm feeling. And I think this other person does too. And I think that might be part of what forms bond is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't think this is love bombing. I think this will be love over time. Um, I heard through many, some kind of mini shocking series of chain events. It's going to, going to be formed. So it's, it hasn't happened yet, uh, but I think it will over some kind of communication or action or something of that nature down the line is what I'm trying to say. Congrats to whoever that's for. It's really beautiful. It really is. So much better than this reverse Oedipus complex shit. And I'm just serious. Refuge. There's about to be a leak in a particular ball team soon regarding swingers. Swingers on this ball team. Someone is about to threaten to leave this ball team or kick the other parties out, swinger parties out. Know this. The swinger parties will be kicked out to for the other people on the team to preserve the other people on the team. Oh my lord, whoa, so you plug it in how red, oh my god, this is something, oh my god, a lot of ball team energy in here, I just want to say that, a lot of ball team energy, a lot, um, whether you're on the ball team, or you are connected to somebody on this ball team, or you know somebody on this ball team, however this resonates, I'm serious, a lot of ball team energy, now whatever ball team this, I mean, there's a million different ball teams in the universe, so however that plugs in, but so, okay, so from what I'm gathering from this message, somebody has been swinging on a, like, it could be the parents on the ball team or the physical players on the ball team, but somebody's been swinging, swinging on this ball team, whether it's parents, whether it's children's sports and it's the parents, or it's adult sports and it's the adults, but somebody's been swinging, whether it's the physical players or the parents, if it's children's sports. Somebody is about to find out through some kind of leak of information about these either parents on the ball team or the adults on the ball team swinging. Somebody's not going to like it. And it sounds like it's about to get around to the whole ball team. And it sounds like there's about to be a coup de tas energy. You know, anybody doesn't know coup de tas is basically like rising up, rising up, like strike energy in a way. 
rising up, strike S type energy. So it sounds like the other people that don't agree with the swinging energy is going to tell the other members on the ball team and basically gather the people, power the people energy in, in this dynamic here to rise up and leave the ball team if they, if the coach or coaches don't kick the swinger parties off the team is what I'm presuming here. I heard um, it's going to get to the point where the swingers will be kicked off the team because they don't want to lose the majority mass of the team. So it sounds like it's going to be effective. So refuge in this situation is basically what, what side are you on? Are you the swinger? Are you connected to the swinger? Or are you one of the ones about to rise up and stand against this swinging activity? Um, that's too close of a dynamic. And I'm serious about that. I would not want to be on any kind of ball team that participated in any kind of swinging activity. Parents or children. I mean, not children. Parents or players. Because that's just nasty. That's nasty. That's too closely connected. You're already closely connected to these people through ball games and tournaments and being together with them a lot more than you normally would be. Why would you want to be literally in their pants too? That's gross. That's gross. Um, so refuge in this situation, I feel the people about to, I heard it, it sounds like it's going to be handled. The coach or coaches or maybe a administration or somebody is about to get involved and basically kick the swingers off. Uh, whether it's the players that are swingers or the parents that are swingers. If it's the parents that are swingers, or poor kids are about to get affected by this. Is what it sounds like. Um, and that's sad. But they shouldn't have made the poor choice to be swinging with the other parents on the ball team. The other parent, uh, that's exactly what it sounds like here. Um, and the refuge, too, in this situation could be people taking refuge and hiding because they're about to be embarrassed as hell when this information gets le leaked gets out that their damn ball team has been swinging. And that's just the truth. Whether it's their physical ball team as an adult ball team or a children's ball team, and it's the parents. This is sick. An air sign is about to lose their job soon. A Scorpio is about to be shocked. And someone off of Scorpio's ball team is about to go to jail soon for abuse and exploitation of the past. They're about to be shot. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So I heard Air Sign's about to lose their job soon and Scorpio's about to be a shot. So if Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be masculine or femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them being to Jupiter charts. Heard this air sign's about to lose their job soon. This Scorpio is about to be shocked. So you, Scorpio, is about to be shocked that this air sign's about to lose their um, their job, whoever you are and how this air sign applies in your life. So refuge, uh, you taking refuge and healing. Uh, maybe you like this air sign. Maybe you don't. Maybe, maybe it's just somebody you barely know. I don't know. But um, I heard it's going to shock you. So I think you're going to heal from this situation, whether you're close to this person or not close to this person, how this applies in your life. And I heard um, um, someone is about to go to jail soon, uh, connected in some Scorpio's ball team, whether you are the player on this ball team or a parent on this ball team or a family member connected to the ball team or a coach on this ball team or however that resonates, somebody on your ball team, whether you're connected to the ball team or you're physically on the ball team, um, is about to be arrested, I heard, for job, child abuse and exploitation of the past. Or, I'm sorry, abuse and exploitation of the past. For abuse and exploitation of the past, I heard it's about to shock you too. So you're about to heal from the situation that you had basically an abuser, an exploiter on your team. Um, and it's about you're about to be publicly embarrassed and you're about to take refuge for the fact that, because it sounds like your ball team's about to get flat for harboring an abuser and exploiter is what it sounds like here if this resonates for you it's about to turn into a huge thing it's about to turn into a huge thing is what i heard it's about to turn into to a huge thing so i think this ball team's about to get negative black for the fact they were harboring an abuser and a exploiter of the past um it sounds like some members of this team knew or the parents knew um, if it's a child's team, child sports, um, which is sad. And it could be the same team that's been swinging, 
possibly. Um, either players or parents swing it. And I'm serious about that. You plug it in how it resonates. That's sick. Healing. A very significant surgery for Scorpio soon. And someone's dishwasher is about to go out. Completely go out. That's interesting. Heard a significant uh, surgery coming up for Scorpio soon. So if this resonates for you, Scorpio, it sounds like you're about to have a surgery. Now, whatever surgery that is, there's a million different surgeries in the universe. So only you know your story, not anyone, anyone else. So some kind of significant surgery in our, um, energy for you, if this resonates for you. Um, I wish you lots of healing and love and healing vibes for whoever that's for. And um, somebody's dishwasher is about to completely go out. So this could be your dishwasher about to completely go out or somebody you're connected to's dishwasher about to completely go out. However, that resonates in one's life. I think somebody was too playful on a ball team. So much so there was swingers, current swinger energy in a ball team in the universe. I think it's parents. I honestly think it's children's sports for a lot of these situations, and it's parents swinging on the damn ball team. I have been a single mom on a ball team, many ball team situations, um, tournaments, um, and um, break sports. I have never been invited to swing, nor would I ever be interested in swinging, and that's just the damn truth. But somebody got too damn close to somebody on either their kids, parents, or the adults. So much so, they're sharing body, flu body fluids. I wonder if some of these people are the ones about to get hep C or um, HIV positive. And I'm just serious about that. That's gross. That's gross. A Scorpio psychic medium is about to pick up on a very significant clairvoyant message soon. They're about to share it very publicly on their social media platform. It's about to blow a lot of things wide open very soon. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever this Scorpio clairvoyant is, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. Now, for y'all, y'all know I, I'm clairvoyant too, but I don't get the clairvoyant messages near as much as I get the clairaudient. This is clairaudient from Spiritual Realm. Clairvoyant is visions. So whoever this clairvoyant uh, Scorpio psychic medium is, um, maybe they primarily get clairvoyant messages or they maybe get them minimally like me. I don't know. Um, but they are psychic medium Scorpio, masculine or femme. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, and Jupiter charts. I heard they're about to get a very significant clairvoyant message soon. They're about to share it very, very publicly. They have a social media platform. And I heard it's about to blow a lot of things wide open. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. And a Scorpio is about to share with another reader their, their channel soon. And a Scorpio is about to share with another reader their channel soon, is what I heard. So you, Scorpio reader, your reader, um, you could be this clairvoyant reader or somebody else, however that resonates, but you're about to share with another reader your channel soon. So I think you have a public platform channel associated with my passion, um, and you're about to share it with another reader. I think your reader about to share it with another, another reader is what I think. All right, well, I love you guys, and maybe, um, maybe you love their work is what I think. Maybe you love their work, and you want to show your work to them, um, possibly. Like, copacetic energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. Love you guys so much. Hope this helped, and namaste.